It's only game. Why you have to be mad? All right. So all of this discussion about Titans and all of that, I wanted to discuss the Q3 financial results. The real reason why I think the Titan announcement was yesterday was because the third quarter financials, the unaudited results for the third quarter of 2024 was also shared yesterday. Now, first things first, uh, let's try to avoid politics as much as we can. We're going to dabble in them, but we're going to try to avoid them for the most part. And I am not a financial advisor. I used to be fully licensed, but I am not a financial advisor. Anything I say in my video today is for entertainment purposes only. The numbers do not look great, all right? Revenue is down 10 million year over year, and it's down 30 million year to date, year over year, all right? 9% drop in overall revenue. A drop in platform commissions is because the game is shifting its focus away from mobile and more into web. Game operating costs are flat. That's the cost to run the game at 13 million a month. Uh, marketing expenses has gone up. General and admin expenses, that's like HR and accounting and all that stuff, that's gone down. Profit net tax is down 38% year over year. Okay, so it's 38% less this year than last year. It will keep dropping? I don't think so. I don't think so, but it will drop continually for a while, but it will turn around. Adjusted EBITDA, I'm not going to go through all of this. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of crap here. There's a lot of financial mumbo jumbo and if if you know anything about financial documents, this can be massaged a little bit to make it look better than it is or make it look worse than it is. And there are reasons why you'd want to do both. But I'm not going to get any of that stuff here today. What I want to talk about is this slide a little bit right here. And uh, this is on uh, gdev.com, G-D-E-V. Actually, you know what? I'm going to link this in the description box so that you guys can look at it yourself if you want. So bookings, this is how much was sold in game. All games, not Hero Wars Alliance, not Hero Wars Dominion Era, not Pixel Shooter or whatever it was. This is all games. Down 8% year over year. In-app purchases are down 8%. Bookings from advertising, I'm not really sure what that's referencing, honestly. Uh, share of advertising, yeah, whatever. Monthly paying users is down 16%. That means that in the third quarter of 2024, there were 314,000 players per month spending any amount of money, a dollar, a thousand dollars, 314,000. This time last year, there was 375. And then average bookings per paying user, that is the average spend per player is actually up to 92 from $84. This is, this is Q3 this year versus Q3 last year. The numbers aren't great and Nobody is happy about this. Obviously, the shareholders aren't happy. PC bookings are up 1% year over year. The decline of the mobile version is, is uh, slowly but surely happening. Uh, cost of bookings split. Most of us are in the United States. And there's a bunch of documents over here you can download and read through yourself. There's one that I want to show you that is a different look at the stats. This is one of the slides. Let me find it here. Let me find it. So this is comparing uh, running quarters. So you have like um, the monthly paying users, monthly paying users, the amount of users paying each month in Q3 versus Q2 versus Q1. So this is quarters in order, not year over year, if that makes sense. Another great look at how the company is doing overall. And again, this is all of GDEV. This isn't just Hero Wars Facebook and web. This isn't just Hero Wars Alliance, the mobile version. This is the entire company. Average bookings per paying user is as high as it's been in a while, but the total number of paying players is down overall. So the, the amount of money people are spending is up, but the amount of spending players is down by a good amount. By a good amount. The lowest quarter that the game has had of monthly paying users in a while. This is definitely something that they're paying attention to, right? This is definitely something that they are concerned about. 16% is a big drop. That's like, um, I mean, that's like saying, you know, if you had, if you had five customers a day, every day, all of a sudden you only have four customers now but the four you do have spend slightly more, right? That's an oversimplification, obviously, but it's a big drop. 
That's a big drop in revenue overall. They're definitely, definitely feeling it. Now the, uh, what is the, um, the Altman Z score? Okay, so the Altman Z score, it's a financial term that determines if a company is gonna go bankrupt within the next two years. Uh, the Altman Z score is a model designed to predict the likelihood of a company going bankrupt within the next two years, created by American finance professor. The model is specifically designed for publicly traded companies with assets greater than $1 million, okay? This is uh, manufacturing companies. This doesn't necessarily apply to GDEV because they're not a manufacturer. Does that make sense? But we can still kind of look at it. So the Z, the Altman Z-score is 1.36. So an Altman Z-score of 1.36 is in the distress zone, in the distress zone, blah. This implies bankruptcy possible in the next two years. You need it above 1.8. You need it above 1.8. And we are far away from 1.8. We are far, far, far from 1.8. Here's the thing. A lot of people are gonna take this and be like, oh my God, Hero Wars is done. They're gonna go bankrupt. Look at this, look at this down here. Uh, here we go. GDEV's Altman Z-score range over the past 10 years. Okay, the average Altman Z-score has been 0.85. Now, uh, GDEV has not been a publicly traded company for 10 years but the average has still been pretty crappy, right? The average is still pretty bad and they haven't gone bankrupt yet. Okay, they haven't done that. Here's here's the thing, here, here's the thing. And this is the only thing that I'm gonna say about this. We intentionally do not talk politics on this live stream. We don't do it. We don't do it at all. It is a very um, incendiary topic, right? The world, especially the United States is more divided than they've ever been. And I've never really felt good about telling people how they should think or feel. I don't like that feeling and you shouldn't either. <laughs> I say that and you, you shouldn't either. Ah, irony, right? The world hasn't been in a good place for a while. And that has something to do with the numbers. It's not accounting for all of the numbers, but the economy hasn't been great, right? The economy hasn't been great. However, about 10 days ago, things changed. We don't really need to get into the specifics. We don't really need to get into like the side effects <laughs> of what's gonna happen come January 4th or whatever, January 6th or whatever day it is. We, we, don't, we don't need to really dig into that too much, but I can see the economy getting better eventually. Eventually I can see the economy getting better. I don't know that it's gonna be in the next year if I, if I knew that the economy was going to be better in the next year, then I would not be making video, you know, YouTube videos about a mobile game. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I, I think, I think that we're going to see some changes in the next one to four ish years that will probably help out businesses. And I don't think that it will save GDEV. Obviously their future is in their hands, right? GDEV is a business. They got to run that business, but they're going to get a little bit more help now than they have had. <laughs> even being a Ukrainian or a, a Cypriot, even being a Cypriot country, what happened in the United States 10 days ago uh, affects the rest of the world. Inflation's global. Oh yeah, absolutely. So to wrap all that up, uh, GDEV has... They've seen, they've seen better months. <laughs> they've seen better quarters. It's not, it's not looking good. Do I think the game is going to die? No, no. The game has got, the game has got many years. The game has got many years left in it. You know, it will, it will be a slow death when the game does go. It won't be like one day we'll wake up and it's just off, right? It'll, it'll dwindle and dwindle and dwindle and just wither away. And then eventually when there's no money left, they'll shut it off. But According to this, they're making, uh, I mean, they're making almost 30, mm, yeah, they're making 30 plus million a month. Like that doesn't seem like a business that's not doing well. Like imagine saying that about a business. This business is done. It's making 30 million a month. This billion, this business is, there's no hope for this business. It's comparing profit, not loss. That's true. That's true. Uh, where's the profit? Okay, so five million, five million a month in profit. Five million a month in profit. They can recover by having a six. Set. Oh man, they could do so many things to make money. If if they needed to do a uh, 
if they needed a nuclear option, like if they needed, like I need to make money, there's so many things that they could do. Like they can make, they could have like a, a, a times 10 emerald sale for like a week straight. How many people would buy emeralds? A ton of people would buy it. Like they'd have such a cash infusion. No, no, no. And once we start seeing like nuclear crazy sales like that, then I'm going to worry about the game. <laughs> only then, only then.